this tutorial, I'm going to give you some tips for painting with children who have special needs and also a really quick project that you can do with them. The child that is painting in this tutorial has autism. His fine motor skills are actually pretty good, but when you're painting with children that have special needs, if their fine motor skills aren't as developed, then you need to make sure they have a much bigger paper and a bigger brush. You might even want to put the paints right onto the table or in a cup and hold it for them to mix. This is a simple way to introduce color mixing and they're going to be doing a color filled painting in this and I like to show pictures of Mark Rothko's paintings. There's one that I really like untitled 1950. Introduce the colors to them, put them in a cup or on a plate. Sometimes I put them right on the table and you can tape a border. In this case, we're just painting a, taping a square border because after we take the tape off, we have a nice square and it looks great framed in like a double mat. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of it finished. Ask them also what their favorite color is. Involve them in it. Let them have some control over what's going on. Help them sign it and display it. Let them see their artwork on a wall somewhere in the school, in your house, in a public place. Show them, you know, that they can do things that other people appreciate and help you have fun with this project. Enjoy painting with these kids and they have a lot to offer. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this advice and have a great day. I also have to add that I was able to get this boy to paint this by promising him that I would let him paint Spongebob after. So we together painted Spongebob. And how I did that was I we drew it in pencil together. I drew one right next to him and he followed me. So we just drew simple shapes and then we painted it in. I painted mine and he painted his.